Hi everyone, my name is Ginger Pierce and I'm a travel advisor with Marvelous Mouse Travels. As you may know, as of January 9th, 2024, Disney World brought their dining plans back. And one of the most common questions that I get as a travel advisor is whether or not the Disney dining plan is a savings compared to paying out of pocket for your meals. So that's the question that we're gonna tackle in this video. I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of what you would pay paying out of pocket versus what you would pay for the dining plan. We're gonna look at all four parks and we're gonna do this by looking at what my family of four would realistically eat each day in each of the four parks. So we're gonna compare for both the standard Disney dining plan and for the quick service dining plan. Now, just so you have a little bit of background information as you look at these prices, my family of four consists of me and my husband. Our oldest child is over age 10, so he will actually pay adult pricing for both the dining plan and if he were to order off of the menu at different restaurants. And our daughter is under age 10, so she would pay child pricing for the dining plan. So the Disney dining plan, the standard plan, comes with a couple of things per person per night of your vacation package stay. So it includes one snack credit, one quick service meal credit, one table service meal credit per person per night of your stay. And so those credits, the table service credits in particular, can be used at a variety of different locations, including character dining. You also get included with your standard Disney dining plan, a resort refillable mug, which you can refill with coffees, sodas, teas at your resort hotel and you get one of those per person in your package. So all total, those items price out with the exception of the resort mug, which we will look at separately. But the snack credit, the quick service meal credit, and the table service meal credit all total price out at $312.53 total for my family of four. So that works out to be $94.28 per person playing for the adult plan or $29.69 per person that's paying for the child plan. So add all that together for the four of us, we're looking at about $312.53. Now let's look at what the price would be if we were to pay out of pocket. And we'll start in one of my favorite parks, which is Magic Kingdom Park. Now for our snack credit, we would typically visit one of our favorite locations, which is the Main Street Confectionery. You can get all sorts of delicious things at the Main Street Confectionery, everything from different baked goods to Rice Krispie treats, which is one of my favorite things to get there. They have these cute little Rice Krispies treats that are decorated like Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse. They're dipped in chocolate. They're just absolutely delicious. So those are going to set you back $6.99 out of pocket. If all four of us in my family were to indulge in one of those, once you add in tax out of pocket, we would be paying $29.78 for our snack at the Main Street Confectionery. Now for our quick service dining credit in Magic Kingdom, we are going to go to one of our favorite places, which is Pecosville Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. This is a quick service location in Adventureland that serves Mexican inspired food. And so we're going to take a look at their menu together here, and I'm going to show you some of our family's favorite things to order. My husband and I are almost always going to order the beef nachos when we go to Pecosville, and so that is going to cost us $11.49 per person out of pocket. Our son is typically going to order the taco trio, which is going to cost $10.99. And one thing to keep in mind with children on the dining plan is that kids do have to order off of the kids menu when that is an option. So there is a kids menu at Pecosville, so our daughter would choose from those options. Out of these options, she's probably going to go with the beef taco most of the time, which would cost her $7.79, and that does include either a bottled water or a milk for her. You have a couple of other kids meals options down here to choose from as well. And if we were paying out of pocket, we would also have to pay a little bit more for our beverages. So my husband and I would both purchase a fountain beverage, which is $4.49 per person. Our son is probably going to order a bottle of water, which is $3.75. Now the dining plan includes your beverages. It actually includes both specialty beverages or standard beverages like soda and tea, but you can also get specialty beverages like a smoothie 
or milkshake, or if you're 21 or older with valid ID, you can also get an alcoholic beverage if you choose. I'm not showing pricing, including the specialty drinks, because our family doesn't typically indulge in those. So I'm just going to show you realistically what we would order on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to show you the prices of fountain drinks, because that's typically what we would get. But with the dining plan, you do have the option to purchase those standard to, uh, to include and order those uh, specialty beverages as well. So all total at Pecos Bill, once we add in tax, my family of four would be paying $58.03 out of pocket for that meal. For our table service credit, we're gonna go back to Main Street USA to one of our favorite character dining locations, which is the Crystal Palace. My kids are both huge fans of Winnie the Pooh characters and they're featured at this meal. And so we are probably going to do a dinner at the Crystal Palace. And as you can see here from the menu, this is buffet style. So it is just a flat rate, but my husband and I and my son will all pay $61 per person to eat at Crystal Palace. My daughter will pay $40. And you can see all of the different options that they have available to us here. Again, typically alcohol is an upcharge if you are paying out of pocket, but with your dining plan, it is included if you're 21 years or older with valid ID. So there are some of their offerings and all total for our family of four with tax included, we would be paying $237.50 before gratuity to eat at the Crystal Palace. So all total for our Magic Kingdom day, our all in number is $325.31 as compared to $312.53 for the dining plan. So you can see that we are actually coming out on top. We are saving $12.78 on our Magic Kingdom day by having our dining plan. So let's head over to Epcot now and see if the same thing holds true for Epcot. Now Epcot is one of the best parks for foodies. There are so many different places that you can choose to use your dining plan credits. Your snack credits really can go farther at Epcot than almost any other park because if Epcot happens to be having a festival, many of the festival items are redeemable for a snack credit. Now I'm not going to show you a festival item for our purposes, I'm going to show you something that's available year round. And so we're going to head to one of my favorite snack locations which is in the Germany Pavilion at World Showcase and that is Caramel Kucha. They have some of the most delicious caramel-based treats in the world or in the World Showcase at this particular location, but my favorite is the Salted Caramel Cupcake. It is this dense, fudgy chocolate cupcake with salted caramel frosting on top, and it is absolutely divine. And so that is going to cost you $5.99 out of pocket. So if my family of four were to all order one of those decadent treats, once you add in tax, we would be paying $25.52 out of pocket for our snack for the day. Now for quick service dining in Epcot, again, you have so many different options, but my personal favorite and one of my favorite family's favorites is Regal Eagle Smokehouse. Regal Eagle is in the America Pavilion. It is traditional American barbecue some of the most delicious barbecue on Walt Disney World property, in my opinion. So I will show you the entrees here and let you know which ones are our favorite. Personally, I tend to order the sliced Texas beef brisket sandwich, which as you can see is $14.29. It comes with a side of your choice. I typically order french fries. I love the french fries at Regal Eagle. My husband typically goes with the chopped smoked pork butt platter which cost $13.49, also comes with your choice of side. My son typically orders the same thing as his dad for another $13.49. My daughter, of course, needs to order off of the kids menu. She typically will go for the chicken strips, which are $8.49, which again includes her beverage, either a choice of milk or a bottled water for her. For beverages, my husband and I would both order a fountain drink for $4.49 per person. My son would order a bottled water for $3.75. So all total, once you add in tax at Regal Eagle, my family of four is paying $66.87 out of pocket for our quick service meal. And for our table service meal, I switch things up a little bit at Epcot. Typically, when I am redeeming table service credits, I'm going to want to use them at dinner because dinner is typically the most you know, expensive meal of the day. 
So I'm going to try to stretch those credits using them for dinner versus breakfast. But at Akershus, I actually prefer to use it at breakfast because for this location, breakfast is only one table service credit. But if you eat here for lunch or dinner, it's going to cost you two table service credits. So I like to try to save my table service credits so that I can experience more locations. So I'm going to pick a breakfast at Akershus over a lunch or a dinner. So this is also a mixture of family style and buffet at this particular location. This is princess storybook dining, so you get to meet a whole lot of different princesses in the Norway pavilion in a beautiful castle setting. Um, but it, you can see here it cost $55 per adult and also for our son because he's over age 10 and then it is $35 for our daughter. And all in, including tax, our family of four is gonna pay $213 to have breakfast at Akershus. So all total, our all in number for our Epcot day is $305.39 out of pocket as compared to $312.53 for the dining plan. So you can see for Epcot, we actually are paying $7.14 more with the dining plan than we would be if we were paying out of pocket. Again, that is probably because I chose to do a character breakfast at Akershus as opposed to a lunch or a dinner. If I had used my table service credit for dinner or lunch at another character meal in Epcot, say Garden Grove, I might have come out on top with the, with the dining plan. But again, I'm trying to give you a realistic view of what my family would actually use these credits for on any given day. So we saved money with the Dining Planet Magic Kingdom. We spent a little more on the Dining Planet Epcot. So now let's head over to Hollywood Studios and see how we do over there. At Hollywood Studios, one of our favorite places to get a snack is Woody's Lunchbox, which is located in the Toy Story Land section. And what's great about the snack that we're gonna order from Woody's Lunchbox is that it can actually double as your breakfast because we're gonna go for this delicious raspberry lunchbox tart. This is kind of like a gourmet pop tart is the best way I know how to describe it. And it is absolutely delicious. So as you can see here, this lunchbox tart is gonna set you back $4.79 per person if you were to pay for it out of pocket. So once you add in tax for my family of four, we would be looking at $20.41 for our snack for the day. My favorite place to get the quick service meal in Hollywood Studios is Backlot Express. Backlot Express is over by Star Tours, uh, right across from the theater where the Frozen sing-long show happens. Um, and this is a really fun themed restaurant because it looks like you're eating on a Hollywood back lot. So there's lots of different props around and they all uh, kind of have a little bit of an Easter egg flair to them. So it's fun to look at the different things that they have all around the setting. But at uh, Backlot Express, here are some of their entrees. My husband typically gets the third pound Angus cheeseburger, which you can see here costs $12.29. I'm going to go with the Southwest salad with chicken, which is going to cost $11.99. My son is going to go for the chicken strips, the four piece chicken strips, which is $10.99. And down here on the kids menu, my daughter is also going to go for the chicken strips, which are $8.49. And that includes her drink. Now we can see here as well, we're gonna to need to order some beverages. You'll notice that this particular location, Minute Maid apple juice is an option at $4.29. Whenever there is apple juice, my son will always drink it. So he would order apple juice at this location. My husband and I would both get fountain jerk beverages at $4.49 a piece. So all total, including tax, our family of four is looking at $60.74 to have our quick service meal at Backlot Express. For our table service meal, we're gonna head over to Hollywood and Vine. Hollywood and Vine is a Mickey and Minnie and Friends character meal. Uh, what's really great about this location is that the characters are dressed up for the season. So if you're traveling in the fall, they're gonna be in their Halloween costumes. If you're there at the holidays, they're gonna be dressed for Christmas or spring or summer or whatever the case may be. So we are gonna do a dinner at Hollywood and Vine. This is a buffet as well. So as you can see, it's just a flat rate, $63 per adult for me and my husband and also for our son, and then $40 for our daughter. So once you add in tax, and I'll show you some of the options that they have here on their menu, 
Once you add in tax for the family of four here, we are looking at $243.89 for us to have dinner here at Hollywood and Vine. So our daily total for Hollywood Studios is $325.04 as compared to $312.53 for the dining plan. So we save again $12.51 with the dining plan as compared to paying out of pocket at Hollywood Studios. So two of the three parks that we've looked at so far, we have saved money with the dining plan. Let's head over to the final park, Animal Kingdom, and see how we do over there. Animal Kingdom, again, is a great park for foodies. There are several delicious restaurants in this park. But for our snack credit, we are going to head to Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks location in Animal Kingdom. Now, as you can see on the menu here, they obviously have a lot of the beverages that we love from our local Starbucks. But down here at the bottom, we can see that they also have assorted pastries. And typically, Creature Comforts has adorable themed seasonal cupcakes. Uh, they could be themed after a particular holiday, they could be themed after a particular animal, but they're very unique to Animal Kingdom. And those typically price out at $5.99 per person. So if all four of us in our family of four were to enjoy one of those, once you add in tax, we are looking at $25.52 for our snack credit. Now for our quick service credit, we are going to head over to one of my favorite quick service locations in all of Disney World, not just in Animal Kingdom, and that is Flame Tree Barbecue. Flame Tree Barbecue has a very varied menu. They have a lot of delicious options. For their entrees, though, my husband is going to order this ribs, chicken, and pulled pork sampler platter, which is going to come in at a whopping $18.99 out of pocket because it's a lot of food. Um, I am partial to the baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. It sounds like it would be a really, really strange combo to put pulled pork and an onion ring on top of your macaroni and cheese, but I promise you it's one of the most delicious things you'll ever eat. My son is probably going to go for the smoked pulled pork sandwich, which is going to come in at $11.79. And down here off of the kids menu, my daughter is going to order the baked chicken drumstick. She loves chicken legs. It's one of her favorite things. And as you can see, this comes with her low fat milk or her bottled water included in the price. For the rest of us, we're going to be ordering our fountain beverages. My husband and I at $4.49 a piece. Our son will probably order a bottled water at $3.75. So all total with, with tax for the four of us, we're looking at $67.94 out of pocket if we were to eat at Flame Tree Barbecue. Now for our table service meal, we are gonna head over to Tusker House, which is a character dining location in Animal Kingdom. Tusker House gives you the opportunity to meet Donald Duck and many of his friends dressed up like they have just come off of safari. We're gonna do a dinner at this particular location. And as you can see, this is a flat charge of $62 per adult for my husband and I, and as well as my son, and then $40 for our daughter. I'll scroll through here and let you take a look at some of the options that they have. Now, this is a great place for a little bit more adventurous eaters um, or people who like to try new things. You can see they have a large cocktail menu as well. But all total for the four of us, we are looking at $240.69, including tax, to eat at Tusker House. So our all-in daily total for Animal Kingdom is $334.15 out of pocket, as opposed to $312.53 for the dining plan. So that is a savings of $21.62 at Animal Kingdom if we go with the dining plan as opposed to if we were to pay out of pocket. So here is a spreadsheet that shows you the breakdown per day out of pocket total versus the dining plan total. As you can see here, all total on just the food elements and the included beverages, we have a net savings of $39.77 with the dining plan. But remember that the dining plan also includes a resort refillable mug per person. And the price of the resort refillable mug as of the time of the making of this video is $21.99 plus tax per person, which works out to be about $93.68 total for my family of four. 
So when you add that to the savings, the dining plan actually saves us $133.45 versus paying out of pocket. But you'll notice that in these side-by-side -side comparisons, I didn't include any specialty or alcoholic beverages because again, that's just typically not something that my family would order. But if you were going to order those beverages, you would end up saving even more money with the dining plan as opposed to paying for your meals out of pocket. So for the standard Disney dining plan, for my family of four, it's a no brainer. It's definitely a savings. But let's take a look at the quick service dining plan and see if the same holds true. So let's talk a little bit about what's included with the quick service dining plan. Per person, per night of your stay, you are going to be entitled to one snack credit, two quick service dining credits, and you're also gonna get that resort refillable meal included. And just like with the standard dining plan, specialty and alcoholic beverages are included with the quick service dining plan. So I've already talked a little bit about some of our favorite quick service meals in each park, but if I had the quick service dining plan and I had a second quick service meal to add to the ones I've already talked about, let me show you some of the places that my family would choose to eat. In Magic Kingdom, we are gonna go almost every time with Casey's Corner. It's right on Main Street USA. It's classic fare, hot dogs, you can't really argue with it. And so as we're looking here at the entrees, you can see they have lots of different hot dogs to choose from. We, we typically just go with the all beef hot dog because you can put whatever toppings you want on it. So that's gonna be $10.79 per person for the four of us. There is no kids menu here at Casey's, so everyone gets to order off of the same menu. And you can see here that beverages at Casey's are actually a little bit more expensive than they are at some of the other quick service locations. So a fountain beverage is gonna cost you $5.29 at Casey's as opposed to $4.49. My son and my daughter are probably both gonna order apple juice, which is $4.29. So all total, including tax to eat at Casey's Corner, we are looking at $66.37 for our family of four. You add that to the $58.03 for our meal at Pecos Bill and the $29.79 for our snack at Main Street Confectionery. And our day total for Magic Kingdom, if we were paying out of pocket, would be $154.18. Now, as of the making of this video, the cost for the dining plan per person per night is $57.01 for everyone age 10 and up and $23.83 for those ages three to nine. So for our family of four, the quick service dining plan is gonna cost us about $194.86 per day, compared to $154.18 paying out of pocket for those same items. So at Magic Kingdom, the dining plan actually costs us $40.68 more than paying out of pocket would. So let's move over to Epcot and see if the same holds true. Now I'm gonna add to my Epcot day, in, in addition to our meal at Regal Eagle, I am also gonna head over to Connections Eatery, which is the newest dining location, quick service dining location in Epcot. And it has lots of options to choose from, very varied menu, and it's a great bright open airy spot right there in the middle of kind of the hub area of Epcot. And so looking at their entrees here they have lots of different things to choose from but what my family would realistically order would be the american classic burger both my husband and my son would go for that that is $13.29 i'm going to be a little bit extra and go with this french bistro burger which is $14.29 and from the kids menu our daughter will likely go with a cheeseburger which is $8.49 and includes her drinks Speaking of drinks, you can see there's lots of specialty beverage options, but we're not going to include those for today because that's not something that typically my family would order. But fountain beverages are going to set us back $4.49 for my husband and I, and if my son grabs up another bottled water, that's going to be $3.75. So our all-in total, including tax for that second quick service meal is $65.27. Add that to the $66.87 we spent at Regal Eagle and the $25.52 that we spent on our snacks from Caramel Kucha. And our daily total for Epcot out of pocket is $157.66. 
compared to $194.86 for the dining plan. So again, we're paying about $37.20 more at Epcot with a dining plan than we would be paying out of pocket. So let's move over to Hollywood Studios and see if the same holds true. So the second place that I would have a quick service meal at Hollywood Studios would be Docking Bay 7. This is in the Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars section of the park, and they have a lot of exotic sounding options, but they're actually pretty, you know, pretty safe even for the most adventurous or non-adventurous eaters in your party. So looking at their options here of entrees, I'm going to go with the Batuan Beef, and that is $18.99. My son and my husband would probably both go with the fried Andorian chicken tip yip, which is $16.29 per person. Down here on the kids menu, my daughter is probably going to go for the fried chicken tip yip youngling meal, which is going to cost $10.49. And if we add beverages down here, notice it's the standard $4.49 per person for a fountain beverage. Um, it's $3.29. There is apple juice here. So my son would order that. So all total at Docking Bay 7, we would pay out of pocket with tax $79.16. Add that to the $60.74 from uh, Backlot Express and the $20.41 from our snack at Woody's Lunchbox. And our daily total at Hollywood Studios out of pocket would be $160.31 compared to $194.86 with the quick service dining plan. So the dining plan is costing us about $34.55 more than it would be to pay out of pocket. So let's look at Animal Kingdom. And the second place that I'm going to have a quick service meal at Animal Kingdom is going to be Satuli Canteen which is in the Pandora section of the park. Satuli is famous for their cheeseburger bao buns. And so as we're gonna look at this menu here, that is going to be what all four of us are gonna order. Um, my husband, son, and I will each get an order of these at $13.29 each. And my daughter would order the child size portion, which would be $8.59 and would include her drink. Speaking of drinks, you can see that the beverages here include the standard $4.49 for fountain beverages, and then my son would be able to grab his bottled water for $3.75. So with tax, we're looking at $65.17 to eat at Satuli Canteen, added to our $67.94 for Flame Tree Barbecue, and our $25.52 for our cupcakes at Creature Comforts, and we are looking at an all-in days total of $158.63 out of pocket at Animal Kingdom compared to $194.86 for the dining plan. So as you can see here on the spreadsheet, the net result, if you look at how much more we're paying for food per day with the dining plan versus out of pocket, the dining plan costs us about $143.63 more. But if you add in the cost of the resort mug, which is $93.68, that is a net of $54.98 more that we would be paying with the dining plan versus out of pocket. However, keep in mind that I did not include any specialty or alcoholic drinks in what we would order as our family of four. So with the quick service dining plan, in order to make it the best bang for your buck and to make it a good value for your family, ordering specialty beverages like smoothies and milkshakes and other options like that are the way to get the most value out of the quick service dining plan. So if you are a family that likes to order specialty beverages like that, then this can definitely be worth your investment. If you're a family like ours that doesn't typically order those things, then maybe the quick service dining plan might not be as great of a value for you as the standard dining plan would be. I hope you found this video helpful. As you can tell, there is no one size fits all answer as to whether or not the dining plan is a good value for your family. It really depends on what you like to eat and drink and how you realistically see yourself using those credits. For my family of four, the standard dining plan does make sense and it would be a savings for us. For other families though, who maybe don't enjoy character dining or who just don't include a lot of meal time in their Disney trips, it might not make as much sense. 
Questions like this really show the value of working with a travel advisor like myself. Since there is no one easy answer as to whether or not the dining plan is a good choice for you, it helps to have someone who can sit down with you, talk about your situation, and help you figure out whether or not it makes the most sense. I offer services like that to all of my clients, and the best thing is that those services come 100% free to you if you book your vacation through me. Booking your vacation through me costs the exact same amount as if you were to go on Disney's website and book that vacation yourself. But when you book with me, you have a professional in your corner to help you think through all of these details. Thank you so much for watching. For more information or to get a custom quote on your vacation, visit my blog at gingermmt.com. Again, I'm Ginger Pierce with Marvelous Mouse Travels.